How does copper surface kills coronavirus? Recently, copper alloys have received great interest in the microbiological and public health communities due to studies that demonstrate its ability to kill and inactivate bacteria, yeasts, and viruses, including the COVID-19, the human coronavirus. Clinical trials have revealed that high-touch surfaces such as hospital bed and chair rails, door handles, and nurse call buttons replaced with copper alloys showed significantly reduced bacterial loads. Recently, there are also companies and university researchers pioneering of using uh, copper fibers in face masks against COVID-19. So the question is, can all metal and alloys behave this way to kill viruses? It turned out that the antimicrobial functionality of a metal depends on its composition more specifically on the copper content. Copper's performance can be expanded to suit many industrial applications via alloying. And alloying means making a solid material out of two or more different metals. So commonly known copper alloys contain about 400 different types. Sometimes nickel, tin, and aluminum are added to copper to enhance its strength, hardness, corrosion, and tarnish resistance. In order to, uh, for copper to obtain the antimicrobial functionality, a rule of thumb is that this alloy needs to contain more than 65 weight percent of copper. So why is copper so magical? It turns out the ability of copper to kill bacteria and viruses is not due to the metallic form of copper, but due to the release of copper ion on the surface as a result of corrosion. So during corrosion, the soluble copper ions that are released into the local environment kill or inactivate the bacteria, yeasts, and viruses. And studies have shown that the COVID-19 leaves the shortest amount of time on copper as compared to plastic or stainless steel surfaces. Here is a recent study that was published uh, in March 2020 at the New England Journal of Medicine, where researchers have studied the stability of SARS-CoV-2 and SARS-CoV-1. SARS-CoV-2, which is the orange symbols here, is the COVID-19. In aerosols on uh, various surfaces of copper, cardboard, stainless steel, and plastic. And the data showed that the viruses, especially COVID-19, leaves the longest amount of time on stainless steel and plastic, while the shortest amount of time on copper, and cardboard is in between. Right, so on copper, no visible COVID-19 was measured after four hours. Similarly, influenza virus was found to leave a much shorter amount of time on copper than on stainless steel. So what is the mechanism? It turned out when our hands touch these copper surfaces, the human perspiration provides the electrolyte necessary for the copper corrosion to occur. Now it is important to smartly engineer the composition of these copper alloys so that active corrosion is favored. So during the, during, the, during the active corrosion, the cation ejection is happening. So the copper ions are dissolved. And other alloy elements that promotes passive film formation should be avoided. Alloy elements such as aluminum, when they are added to copper, tends to promote the formation of an oxide layer, the so-called passive layer on the surface. When the passive layer is there, uh, the active ejection of copper ions is prevented, and that is very bad for the antimicrobial functionality. I hope this presentation is helpful to you. Take care.